Hey everybody, this is Dr. Io coming at you with how to avoid email spam filters. Um, you know, if you're trying to send messages as email marketers, online marketers, sometimes you're trying to send messages and it goes into spam. Arg. So, spam's a huge problem on the web nowadays. You know, according to industry experts, up to 73% of global email is spam. So, the spam filters are just killing us. You know, it's even impacted companies that are just sending out legitimate bulk emails from people actually in their database they'll get caught up in spam so what does this mean to you you're gonna have to work harder to get those emails into your readers inboxes now there's definitely some spam trigger words because every email program whether it's Gmail or AOL or Yahoo whatever email program it is it has built-in spam filters that's gonna check those inbound emails it checks for words that are within the content and it, as well as definitely the subject line okay so it'll filter stuff out and if the program finds that the words are spammy then it's gonna tag the email as spam and BAM guess where it's going to the spam box and when it goes to the spam box it's hardly ever to be seen again by the person you were trying to send it to so subject lines is one of the main killers that you will get sent to the spam box. Bad, bad, bad marketer. <laughs> so don't want to have any quotation marks, any dollar signs, any exclamation points in your subject lines. Those are big no-nos. Don't use like your all capital letters, like you're shouting. Um, don't do that. I couldn't even shout right now if I wanted to at the time of this recording. <laughs> uh, don't ever ever put a toll-free number in your subject line. That's a great way to go straight to spam. And don't use crazy big fonts, anything larger than two plus. Other things to avoid in your subject line. Big no-nos. Apply online. Free. Free is like a dirty word if you're emailing something. It's my favorite four letter word, but it's like a dirty word if you're trying to email something. So definitely stay away from free, free gift, free info, free membership, free anything. The word free is going to the spam. Um, anything like incredible deal, email marketing, see for yourself. Uh, direct marketing, earn money, anything like that, go into the spam, make money, money back, home-based business opportunity, spam, online marketing, spam, work at home, spam, financial freedom, spam, <laughs> any of those guys, spam, 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 it is, it's going straight to the spam box, those are big no-nos in your subject line. So the spam words, they have points associated with them. So you want to keep your score below five. A lot of the autoresponder systems will definitely grade your email message before you send it out. So keep your score less than five. Use a spam checker to grade your email if you're not using one of those autoresponder systems with a spam checker in there. So you could use a spam checker to check your email but a good method is try to replace those spam words with approved words so definitely keep your thesaurus handy have you guys noticed emails lately that they'll have like misspelled words or characters in them like uh, for the word free they'll have f apostrophe r e e that's because those folks they're trying to trick the filters it doesn't always work so i definitely recommend you check it out a you know have a spam checker Run, it, run your email through a spam checker before you send it out to your list. It'll take you like an additional two minutes of your time. Here's a good resource, freespamchecker.com. So that's it. Hopefully that was helpful and uh, it'll help you stay out of the spam box. Uh, keep in mind, the words are ever changing. We know Google is a beast. So the, the approved words list is always constantly changing, but <clears throat> those are ones that they've already defined for us that are big no-nos. So hopefully that helps, guys, and I'll see you next time.